Good day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Tuesday evening here in Australia. Market is up ever so slightly, 2.13 trillion. So, you know, less than a percent move upwards, but, you know, any gain's a good gain. And Ethereum is looking like it could be getting ready to break out. Still, you know, it's, it's not 100% yet, and we'll get to the chart shortly and have a, have a look, but it is looking quite nice at the moment. All right, Bitcoin dominance down under 43%. That's interesting. We'll have to wait and see how much lower this is going to go. Volume is up, though, and gas prices are still not very nice at all. A lot of it's probably to do with the NFTs over on OpenSea and all the rest of it. Uh, quite expensive to use ETH at the moment. And, you know, I don't like to harp on about the same thing over and over again, but oh, Ethereum 2.0 cannot come quick enough. I really hope it doesn't, you know, kind of drag out for another two years because I think these other chains are just going to absolutely eat ETH alive if they start running smart contracts for basically zero fees. They'll just be, yeah, it'll be horrible. Anyway, moving on. Bitcoin sitting 47,000. And again, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, sold nearly 20% um, move upwards. It just continues. It's like there's no floor for it at the moment. It continues to go upwards, but then others are down. So again, the market's only up a little bit, like less than a percent, but obviously there's going to be some movers. So what's the best mover? What's done the best? Who Cello, 60% in 24 hours. Arweave, 36%. And one harmony, thirty-three percent. Adam, twenty-seven. Sold twenty percent. So I mean, there is a lot of really good double-digit movers there. Even Polkadot making a ten percent move. Uh, Elrond, Egold, Kasama. I mean, look, looking quite nice. And those kind of gains are from a less than a percent move upwards in the market. <sighs> what about losses though? Has anything been hit really hard? safe moon <laughs> i mean that just chops and changes i mean this two did turn into a four which was somewhat of a miracle uh and now it's all the way back to two again so yeah chopping and changing all over the place i feel sorry for anyone who's in safe moon but that's just my personal opinion not financial advice pancake mana xt chilies avax look not too much downside some really nice upside and again that's considering the market hasn't moved that much it is up just under one percent Oof. Right, the Bitcoin chart, let's have a look. Have a look at what Bitcoin's doing. It is doing something somewhat similar to Ethereum at the moment. It just feels like it's been coiling, 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 and it is sitting right on the bottom of this upwards trending channel. Is Bitcoin getting ready to have a big move to the upside? Now, again, this is kind of uh, the resistance where we've been at. Bitcoin did bubble above it for a minute and now it is just back there kind of sitting on it and we can see there's a lot of confluence around here we've been here before used it as both support and resistance at times again support support then we fell under it and now it does seem like it's sitting as resistance we go over to the ethereum chart have a look at this somewhat similar again just kind of bubbling away bubbling away and just above this kind of breakout line at the moment but what we're waiting to see is can this hold is this going to be enough for, again, Ethereum to now make a move like this? Is it ready to go up? Is it going to fall back down and, you know, bubble around in here? Maybe even fall to the downside? Possibly. I'm hoping not. I don't think it will, but it's something we've got to keep in mind. But Ethereum is just breaking out at the moment, just sitting above. It's the highest it's been for, well, we're going to go sort of way back to sort of over here. Again, this is the candle body close, not the wick. The wick got a little bit higher, but we have an actual candle body close sitting above that at the moment. And this could be very, very interesting. All right, a couple of news stories I want to get to. you. So DeFi platform Cream Finance hacked for $29 million. This is the space that we live in. We need to remember this. When you're putting money into, you know, these new DeFi platforms and just cryptocurrencies in general, it, it's a very new space and there's still problems being found all the time. I mean, Ethereum had a bug just the other day that they got fixed. Literally, you know, two days ago that they had to fix, Ethereum still had a bug. Again, trans, you know, transferring, transferring, transforming, <laughs> transferring is what we'll say, you know, over to ETH 2.0. Yeah, you're an early investor in something that's not complete. Bitcoin has had bugs before. It's 
don't get it twisted and think that oh it's just all these other platforms bitcoin's the only safe one bit excuse me bitcoin has had bugs i think it was a 180 billion dollars worth of uh, extra bitcoin got printed once quite a long time ago and uh, they were lucky they got up on top of it and fixed it and there was also another bug that was there for a really long time uh, that took them months to fix so yeah this is a very new space still heaps of problems and again this is why you don't chuck all your money into any one thing like you know if you heard about cream finance you wouldn't want to just go and throw everything into it unless you're you know really done your research knew the team and all the rest of it and even then i'd still just be careful you know this 29 million dollars has come from somewhere and it's going to be the people who had their money in that platform now hopefully that's not the end of it and they haven't just completely lost all their money but it's you know we'll have to wait and see that money has to come from somewhere and if you had all your money in cream finance you're probably taking up you know your money's taking up quite a large well maybe not a large chunk of 29 million but anyway a lot of your money is then at risk right marvel Whew. nfts they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger now again i just want to tell everyone that not all nfts are going to turn into these million dollar things and even these marvel ones some might like an you know, amazing spider-man number one nft that might do something but a lot of the other ones they're just sort of collectible stuff you know unless you're putting money into the really good things like you know the i think they're called the board apes the yacht club and all the rest of it uh crypto punks things like that they probably will be because they were some of the original some of the firsts you know done by sort of well-known artists as well at least well-known now whereas a lot of the nfts out there at the moment they are nothing more than just a bit of fun so don't go paying too much unless you really kind of know the space uh, and you know you have that money to kind of waste because nfts are just like normal crypto majority of them literally a majority of them are going to be worth nothing that's the sad truth if you can get in and get out and flip it and double your money triple your money 100x your money great congratulations but just yeah be careful running out and putting all your money into an nft thinking you're going to make millions there's no guarantees in that right retirees in el salvador it seems like they're not all so happy about about bitcoin so retirees and veterans in el salvador are worried that the government would start paying their pension in bitcoin instead of the us dollar and that's that's a fair concern i mean me personally i would want some of that in bitcoin but because bitcoin is still so volatile yeah, you definitely wouldn't want it because one day you could be a millionaire and then 24 hours 48 hours later you could suddenly have lost you know half of it i mean we just went through a 50 percent correction not that long ago and yeah it's still going up but we're in the middle of a bull run we are still yet to see how a bear market and maybe what we just went through was a bear market and if that's the case then sweet you know pay it all in bitcoin but if we still have to see you know like a really big bear market people are talking about you know bitcoin getting all the way up to you know two hundred three hundred thousand dollars and then imagine if that happened but then all of a sudden bitcoin turned around and went back down to fifty thousand or thirty thousand dollars that would be pretty brutal for people hence why the dollar's not dead and you still do want at least some of you know your money in the dollar you know stable coins whatever you want to call it because you know unfortunately ethereum and bitcoin and that while they're going up now and everything's great it's not so great when a bear market comes it really isn't and you know we need to wait and see as i said yesterday on my video is the four-year cycle dead though maybe this is it maybe we're going into hyper bitcoinization and crypto you know markets just you know really go up hard for a decade possible i just don't know i'm not sold on it hence why i wouldn't want everything i own simply sitting in bitcoin unless you you know if you bought if you put all your money into bitcoin at some really good price i.e you know straight after that market crash in march last year great you'll probably never have to worry about it you could literally have all your money uh in bitcoin but it's still going to fluctuate if you continue to, uh, to put more money into it uh, it's going to go up high and then it's going to come down low dollar cost averaging is still not a bad way but just be mindful of chucking everything in at you know what might not be a great time and so i can understand why some of these you know particularly retirees and things like that they might not have another four years to wait around for their money to kind of be you know worth something again they want to enjoy the you know the rest of their time uh, 
uh, and you know be able to travel and spend not that a whole lot of that is happening at the moment but gee if you go again you're a millionaire today and you're like yeah i'm going to travel the world and do this and then boom 48 hours later you're like oh geez i've lost half of everything i've got to wait four years just to kind of you know sort of get roughly back to where i was probably a little bit higher that'll be pretty hard for retirees so yeah i can understand why they might be a little bit upset last but not least i love this idea and i i, I think i would actually put money into this so three arrows capital execs launch an nft fund now i know i was just talking about nft saying a lot of them will go to zero you know these are pretty smart people and they've invested in some pretty good uh, nfts hence why I think this would be a pretty good idea, but just throwing money into random NFTs, maybe not. But look, we still don't know where, where NFTs are going to kind of sit in the long run. They could go to zero, hence why I would definitely put some money into this. I wouldn't put all my money into this. But the new fund, Starry Night, Starry, I think it is, or yeah, Starry Night Capital, plans to exclusively invest in the most desired NFTs on the market. So I think they're going after things like, again, the Bored Apes, Crypto Punks, some of Beeple's work and things like that. And to put into a fund like that, I think that would be a really, it's like investing in a really good stable coin that will fluctuate, absolutely, but over time, it'll probably perform really, really well. There, there hopefully wouldn't be too much downside. This is something I absolutely plan to look into uh, further and see exactly what the kind of, yeah, what the rules and regulations are about how you get into this because I like this I, I do like NFTs I think some of them are going to be worth an absolute mozza and fortune uh, uh, in the future but, but you know there's so many people just rushing out and buying all sorts of NFTs at the moment majority of them I don't think will be worth that much but again I'm no I'm no expert hence why I've more focused on the coins and the platforms and platforms themselves than the actual NFTs themselves all right, look, that's it for me. You can probably hear I'm still a little bit under the weather. I'm actually uh, feeling a little bit worse than uh, what I have been over the last week, so I might have to get back to the doctor, uh, find out what's going on. It's definitely not uh, the virus, though. I've already had the test, and that came back negative. All right, stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully, you're all on that game train, and I'll see you next time.